risk ever sent a nude to the wrong person? What happened? How did they respond? The risk sent a pic to my family WhatsApp group instead of my girlfriend who requested it. I got a lot of laughs from my sisters, a well done from my father, and not a single word from my mother who to this day denies it happened. It was a horrible experience. My sister once accidentally sent a photo of her in a towel that was revealing like that, intended for her husband. I deleted photo from chat though and didn't look past required. I would have died from cringe. The risk not a nude, but I accidentally ted my boss thinking I was talking to my husband. He sent back, I don't think this was meant for me. I sent him the biggest apology ever and we never spoke about it ever. I had something similar happen to me a number of years back. My name was similar to another guy at work. This is a large company, so we don't know each other. So once in a while, I would get an email intended for him. Well, one time he and a lady he worked with were messaging back and forth. It starts off as normal conversation, but then she started to make it dirty. Somehow down the chain, she swapped his email for mine. I felt like messaging back something like, lady, I have no idea who you are, but you got my support, but chicken. Risk just this past summer, our son soccer coach sent a pick in group, a group chat to the entire team. All the parents. Fortunately, it is a kids U6 team, so no children got the text. Immediately after the pick, he was apologizing profusely. The text was meant for his wife. I could feel the panic through the phone. They were short texts, one right after the other, like he needed to get something out, but couldn't type fast enough, so he had to send out separate sentences. It was painful. No one was responding. What do you say in a group chat to that? Some parents asked the soccer board. Coach brought it to them himself to have him step down for this season, I think just because it was awkward. Hope he comes back next season. He is a wonderful person and coach. It was a mistake. Meant for a consenting husband and wife. I got the opportunity to tell him and his wife as much and laughed with them about it later that summer. Wish them I was meaning to text my boyfriend the picture, but must have still been in the message chat to my dad at the time, and sent it without checking. Seeing that the nude had been texted to my dad, I immediately called him. I was going to ask him to delete the pictures, and that they were inappropriate and were supposed to go to my boyfriend. That way he wouldn't see the images themselves. He would just know I had taken nudes. Somehow, by the grace of God, my sister answered his phone as she was living at home at the time. I begged her for help, and she was able to delete the images off his phone. My dad never knew the incident ever occurred. I asked my sister how I could repay her, and she asked me to never ever bring it up again. I owe her one, eternal. Asterisk my boyfriend at the time was on a work trip, and I decided to send him a nude. I took the picture, his share. And it wasn't until after I hit send that I realized it went to the most recent person I texted instead of my boyfriend. And that happened to be my dad. Luckily, he still had a flip phone instead of a smartphone, so I knew if he didn't actually open the message, he wouldn't see anything. I called him right away and told him I'm so sorry I sent you something I didn't mean to. And please, please, please to just delete the message without opening it. I wanted to die from the embarrassment. He deleted it and has never brought it up. My mom, on the other hand, made a comment a few months later that I can't be trusted to send the right message to the right person. Risk my older sister accidentally sent me a pic of her cooch meaning to send it to her husband. We had been texting and all of a sudden I get a pic from her. I open it and there's her big ol' hairy, gaping labia staring at me. Her husband likes hair. Before telling her I got it instead of her husband, I was inquisitive enough to examine it and compare it to mine. I know, kind of creepy, but had nothing better to do at the time. Anyway, I texted her back and asked, so at what point do you shave that or at least cut it down a bit? Two minutes later, she texts me back, mortified, and insisted I delete it, and apologized profusely. I told her I would immediately but also told her to be careful in the future. Like I said, we'd been texting all day. How she explained it happening was her husband and I have the same two letters in our names. When she went to send the pic, the text app didn't show all the names so she typed in the first two letters. My name automatically entered, and my sis not paying attention, assumed it was his name or something like 
the risk when Instagram first came out, like before I had ever even heard anyone talking about it. I thought it was a new photo editing app that let you put cool filters on your phone pictures and kept a little album for you, like any normal photo editing app would do. Keep in mind back then there wasn't really social media centered around pictures so I had no concept of that. I took some nudes on there and put little filters on them and stuff and sent them to a boyfriend. Then didn't think of it again months later I get a text from a very kind. X saying did you know your cute little boobies are on Instagram and everyone can see them. I was mortified. Apparently he could find my profile because it recommended it via contacts or something which I also had no concept of at that time. Not many socials did that back then. So I have no idea how many people saw those pictures. Dupes. To add insult to injury, I wasn't signed into the account anymore, so I was desperately trying to remember what email and password would get me. The risk I had two name redacteds in my phone didn't have last names added. One was a love interest, the other was a good friend, was a bit tipsy and just kind of clicked and went for it. Picked the wrong one, got some fantastic feedback, but they have never let me live it down to this day. It's been two years. My wife has me and a friend with the same first name on her phone. Sometimes that friend will message me and say my wife needs me to bring something. It is kind of funny. Dude on the other side of the country telling my that my wife needs popcorn. Right on. A couple of years ago, my actual girlfriend was on vacation with her family and sent a picture of her naked to my sister, instead of me by mistake. I remember I was at a friend's party and suddenly receive a text from my sister saying she had finally gathered the courage to tell me she was sorry for secretly having with my girlfriend for a while and that she had taken a picture for proof, attaching it to the message. I was slightly stoned but enough to believe to everything for hours until I realized the picture was a selfie taken in front of a risk happened with one of my exes. She got a new phone and was updating her contacts. She chose my pic as her temporary profile pic for when I called. I was at work while she was getting her gallbladder taken out. Started to worry because she should have been in post-op and almost discharged by then. So I kept calling, and it would ring twice, then straight to voicemail. Redial, ring once, straight to voicemail. Redial two more times, straight to voicemail. Turns out her mom had her belongings, and my angry boner kept saying hello, up close and personal, over and over. Family dinners were awkward for a while after the risk. So when I was in college, I did a semester in England. And when there, started dating this chick from my same school that was in the program. When there, she bought a pair of Dr. Martens and had her hair cut short. My father came for a visit and took the lot of us out for dinner, and after a few drinks teased her that Dr. Martens were lesbian shoe back home. It was the 90s, so it wasn't as bad as it sounds and it was all in good fun. Anyways, after this and before we went home, I bought her one of the myriad of postcards from England at the time that had hot naked chicks at different London landmarks. I sent it to her mailbox at school and said the girls of London missed you. Anyways, the school got the postcard, saw she was abroad, and forwarded the postcard to her parents' house. Her mother called and said you got an interesting postcard from your friend Basil. We dated for maybe six years after and I was known as postcard kid in her family. My friend accidentally sent his nude to his ex. He wanted to send it to his date. Two things happened. One, he got back together with her. They got married and are happy. The date was sleeping with other dudes. Firstly, my friend and his now wife had problems in their relationship because she was sick. She broke up with him because she didn't want him to get involved. He is one of the nicest guys I know. And if she died, she didn't want him to be crushed. They had like a long talk before breaking up. After getting back together, he basically went with her for every doctor's appointment worked really hard to support her, and when she was off chemo, they got married. After going on a date, the date asked him to send her a couple of nudes. She vocalized she likes big eyes. To see if he was big, the pics weren't on the same day. He found out after he accidentally sent the pic to X and thought she not responding to it was weird. He didn't know at the time, plus her asking for it. Another thing to note, the girl he went on a date with claimed she was a virgin and would only save herself for after marriage. 
He found out a few days later, after sending Pick that she was basically sleeping around with other dudes, some before meeting him, and two dudes before going on a date with him that night. So to you guys who think I'm shaming whore, I'm kindly not. I'm just telling the story as it is. Finally for the one guy who said I should continue my numbering, he... As to how the picky saved their relationship, I have no clue. They are a weird, wholesome bunch and I loved watching them. I was 15 then, interacting. He knew what she wanted. She knew what he wanted. They were really supportive of one another. This was when email was still fairly new. I sent it to a guy friend. He saw immediately what had happened. I was dating a mutual friend with the same first name as him and what I wrote with the picture made it clear. He quickly deleted it and then sent me a note telling me what had happened. Not that I ever mind naked pictures, but, so everything was good except it wasn't. It was horrible, because he didn't send me that note, he sent it to a business acquaintance with the same first name as me. Ended up being much worse for him. I ended up calling her. Kai accidentally posted a video of me masturbating and moaning to my Snapchat story at 3 a.m. instead of to just the one person I was ting. For some reason one of my friends was awake at that time besides the person I was ting and they saw it. You are disgusting. She told me and then removed me from Snapchat. Luckily this was after we worked together but I feel like most people would understand that it was not on purpose. I promptly removed it from my story after she messaged me. Unfortunately for the person I was ting I was too embarrassed to do any morning that night after that. Asterisk you also just reminded me of what happened to my former co-worker. I was the only person working with him during a 12-hour shift, and the night before he had posted a pic to his story instead of just to the girl he was ting. He did not realize this had happened until he woke up to dozens of notifications. He was a popular guy, so he had a lot of friends on Snap. An even bigger mistake, he was talking to multiple women, only one of whom was mentioned by name in the text of the Snap. He had two other women separately chewing him out. I always figured there had to be more who never saw the snap in the first place. He was mostly good-natured about it, felt very confident in the department telemeo. Despite the fact that several of his friends had saved the image and were giving him for it. During our entire shift, his phone was just constantly blowing up. I did all of the work, but I got to spend 12 hours laughing with and at him. While I don't condone saving and sharing other people's nudes, it couldn't have happened to a better Asterisk not a nude, but I accidentally sent a very explicit T paragraph to one of my close girlfriends instead of my partner before Snapchat had the ability to delete messages, so I was forced to just let it happen. I sat with a pounding heart after spam texting not to read it and just swipe out. She read it and then told me improvements I can make on my wording. Tried my best to awkwardly laugh it off, become she'd gaff, but God was it embarrassing to risk not a nude. But I once had a boss ask to see a pic of my kids, and when I pulled up my photos, first thing that popped up was me in brew and underwear for my weight loss progress pics I would take monthly. That was awkward. We didn't say a word, both acted like it didn't happen. A co-worker did this trying to show me a picture, and she looked like she was about to cry. She was super self-conscious about her weight and was working her off every day at the gym after work. I felt so bad and kinda went big brother mode and gave her a hug and started to babble a terrible mix-up of affirmations. My panicking made her laugh and she hugged me back and said thanks for not making fun or making it about. After that she would give me updates and show me her progress pictures and it was amazing watching how she changed as she lost weight and became more confident. Latter turned out she thought I was gay, and things came to head a bit when she showed me a pic of her in a thong and asked for my opinion in such a matter-of-fact way that I knew she wasn't flirting. We had a mildly embarrassing talk during lunch but assured her I was fully capable of being a friend and not trying to make it about. But she did in fact have a fantastic and very distracting which made her happy. She moved to a new job a couple states away and got engaged to a lovely woman, which I so saw come. Risk not quite a nude, but my mother, in her early 60s, took a selfie of herself in a French maid outfit, which was an apron and nothing else except her waving around a feather duster. She meant to send it to Al, her husband, but accidentally sent it to all. 
including my husband, myself, our daughters, my in-laws, and every single person in her extensive contact list. My husband, who has played lawn bowls since he was 19, rang and said, what the has your mother done? I had no idea as I don't bother much with my phone. He said he was at afternoon tea when this photo of her in an apron and feather duster arrived. I said, I'm really sorry. I'll call her. He said, forget it. All the old blokes at the bowls club want her not to risk the dads in my neighborhood have a WhatsApp group for talking about school events, camping trips, volunteering, community events, and drinking at the local bar. Imagine 40 middle-aged dudes who live within 10 blocks who are acquaintances having amiable small talk and sometimes requests for support for some effort or another. One dad sent a video to the entire group, which includes all of his neighbors of himself talking dirty, taking his pants off and jerking it. He promptly left the dangerous Kai once got the wrong nude from a person, letting slip of her secret by uality she's still in denial about largely due to her religious beliefs. Simply put, she sent me a full frontal of another woman, one that we both know personally. It was actually a DM on here lol. I opened my messages to a barrage of nudes. I'm also a girl so just wasn't sure what to think. I said think these got sent by mistake. She was mortified. In the process of me sending her that she had already realized what she had done and was apologizing and begging me to delete them. Understandable. I let her know I wasn't sure if it would make her feel any better. But I was also a straight chick so no worries of me keeping them. I would have deleted them had I been a dude any wake as you know, that'd be pretty it up. It absolutely made her feel better about the situation. We both laughed it off and we ended up texting back and forth for like 30 minutes about everything under the sun. While obviously not intended, it ended up being a sort of wholesome experience for the both of us. I've since lost that account and I don't know if she still read it or would even see this but if she does, I hope you're doing well girl. Happen. Asterisk sent a nude to a torsionist. They demanded $500 or they would send my nudes to all my family and friends on social media. If you pay, they ask for more. Low life scum from Nigeria and the Philippines. I was played one time shortly after my divorce like that. They tried to say they were going to send it all out to my friends list on Insta. I laughed and told them to go ahead. That that my friends would be happy I was having fun after my divorce. Of course, I then posted to Insta warning everyone they might get something, but nobody ever said anything about getting it, so no clue if they did or not. Asterisk Kai was the recipient of a nude from my college friend's mom. Since she's a bit unpredictable and narcissistic, I'm still not sure if she sent it on purpose or not. Even though she claimed it was an accident, seemed a little hard to make than an accident, and she knew I had recently come out as a lesbian. Suspicious. My ex's mom sent me a cam request on Yahoo Chat back in the day. I opened it thinking maybe she was using her mom's computer or something. Nope, it was her mom masturbating. I closed it out immediately thinking it was an accident. Nope, she immediately messaged me. I get so hot when you come over. I seen you looking at me. I didn't reply and never said a word to the ex. I probably should have, but that wasn't a can of worms I wanted to open any for. Asterisk I had a student, university 20-year-old email me very explicit nudes. She actually sent three in a row, full front, rear, and one very intimate close-up of her. You know, these photos were met for her boyfriend. I share the same first name as her boyfriend, and she messed up the email. Her nude email was immediately followed up by her complete embarrassment email. She did not handle it very well at all. I called HR, my chair, and the dean. All three were female. I simply explained what happened. We all had a meeting with the student. I refused to show anybody the photos. I deleted them and moved on. The student unfortunately had a hard time with it, and we did a rare mid-semester transfer to another professor. I understood completely and assisted any way I could. I ended up having her in a graduate level course a couple years later and was part of her doctorate. Asterisk I accidentally posted a tit pic in my snap story instead of one person, and it was like 9 am. I had recently added a tattoo artist who I was really impressed with, and I had an upt months out for a consult for my first tattoo. He replied, Well, good morning to you too. 
and I thought I would die. I deleted it and had my friend check it was gone on her end. But then I ended up being pretty friendly with this artist I admired cause we both ended up joking about it and he still does my ink like 6 to 7 years later and I don't even remember who I was trying to send it to in the first place lol so that worked out risk sort of. I was fresh home from surgery and my stomach was wide open. Only stitches held my two stomach halves together. It was bloody, messy, and disgusting. I had a nurse friend who wanted a pick. The wound started just below my breasts and ended just above my crotch. I was trying to get a pic while I was alone and snapped it and sent it to her. Little did I realize I got more of my crotch than the wound and I had a hilarious laugh when she went back what the I was unable to sit up so it was a little hard getting the angle right and I was so drugged still that I didn't think about double checking the pic. Even now I laugh a the risk I was laughed at and applauded at the same time. It was the most embarrassing thing I've ever experienced. Sure I do okay, but I don't want the world seeing or knowing. All because a fling back in the day asked for a picture. Phone locks weren't a thing back then. So my friends at the time literally sent my forgotten pic to everyone on my phone while I was walking another friend home after a fun night of drinking. I'm not small nor huge, but large enough to catch attention. And it did, from everyone. I had 200 is people on my phone and my friends sent the photo to everyone, including people on their phone and MySpace accounts. Needless to say, I'm not friends with them anymore, and I almost got petty charges my pick was sent to my sisters, 15 17 at the time, mom, dad, etc. I hated my life for a long time. LPT, don't take pics of your naked body. K decade ago, I had a weight loss challenge going with friends and we were posting photos of our successes. One morning I woke and was really proud to see I was 10 pounds down. Although I was a little sleepy, I snapped a quick pic and posted it. Went about my morning routine and got to the office. As soon as I came to my office, my assistant came in and said with a terrified look, have you see your Facebook? You should check right now. I looked and saw my photo and it had 300 likes and 70 comments. I was like, good post, what's the problem? She gave me an indescribable look. I then saw a bunch of the likes were hilarious laughing emoji and with terror. I read some comments and felt the most indeed indescribably embarrassment of my life. Turns out my withing scale is reflective. And what did I see in the mirror? Right between my legs, but my little morning stubby. From the absolute worst angle, it literally looked like a micro. Posting my junk accidentally Facebook. Okay, posting my junk in the worst angle to Facebook and having thousands of people, including all the people in the office that I managed, think I a micro, unbearable. I don't know really what happened after, but I did get jokes for years and was walking around saying it's bigger than average. Actually, it was just a bad angle, which usually just made it worse but occasionally inspired a let's see, which I suppose was good.